All right, so now a health system is actually simpler than you would normally think it would be. Going into this and doing it very, very simply, let's just go into the player UI real quick. We can create a new UI element. We can create something just like so. We're gonna set it up so that the anchor is in the top left like we did before. We're gonna go ahead and name this new thing health in here so because we need something to keep track of it, right? health text and then we can up the size I think we were using what size 46 before so if we up this to about 46 yeah that's too big so we'll do something like 32 maybe that looks about right maybe bold it up then we want to create another new uh, UI element and we're gonna call this one a text as well and this will be the health amount I like to have it centered like so and then we can also put this at 32 as well. And we're going to put this at 0 to start off with. It doesn't really make a difference. And we can bolt this up as well. Now I'm just doing this simply because this is mostly about making a health system, not about making this all pretty and everything. So just going to bear with it. Uh, we want this uh, to be anchored in the top left as well, like so. And we should have the basis of our entire health system already in here. Call this health amount. We go back into our uh, programming over here, and we just need to be inside of our player controller where we're going to keep track of the health, right? We, per usual, want to create a serialized field. Private int health. Super simple, right? Going back inside of here, we look inside of our player. We see that now our health is set at zero. That's good. Let's go ahead and set it at something like five. We also want to make another uh, variable so that we can actually update the text, the health amount, right? And inside of the start function over here, we want to set the health amount dot text equivalent to the health dot two string. If you remember right, we, when we collide with an enemy, we actually go into state uh, dot hurt over here, right? Now, when this happens, we also wanted to actually start taking away our health at this point. So we can just go ahead and do that right here inside of on collision enter and inside this else where you see state dot hurt happen, right? So if we go ahead and do health minus equals one, and whenever we update our health, we also wanted to update the health text. So we also want to go health amount dot text is equivalent to health dot to string, right? And inside the same little section right here, we also want to go if health, because we need to deal with uh, how health works, right? So we're gonna say if health is less than or equal to zero, then we want to go scene manager, which we don't have access to right now. So we need to say using uh, Unity, I believe it's engine dot scene management. Yes, like so. That'll give us access to it. We're gonna say load scene, scene manager dot get active scene. That's it. Dot name. That's what we need to do. So then it will load the current scene by its name and therefore resetting us back on this board. Now we want all of, now all of this gets quite messy and hard to read. So of course, if we go and highlight all of it, we go to this little quick action tool right here. We can hit extract method and we're going to go ahead and name that method, you know, handle health. There we go. So now handle health will then go ahead and deals with health updating UI and will reset level if health is less than or equal to zero. Actually, one more thing that we need to go ahead and do is we need to take the health amount and we need to drag it into this right here. And then if we hit the play button, we should now see that our health is reflected on the screen and that the game is running correctly. And we do. 
running up and over here, going over to this froggy, getting hit. Our health goes down and goes down again. Goes down again. And we die. I hope that video was helpful for you, that you really enjoyed it. <laughs> Give me that like, subscribe, comment, and let me know how I'm doing at this. If you have any more requests for this series, please go ahead and let me know. I am trying to add more videos to it as people request more things. If you guys, like, for instance, need, like, a sample of how to go about uh, dealing with, you know, the difficulty of the game and stuff like that. So, like, we need, like, upgrade the difficulty, perhaps, and do different things. Or you want to see a better... Uh, version of how they work with power-ups and stuff like I can go ahead and upgrade some of the systems I'm really just trying to lay down the groundwork and show you how to go about it But it's really up to you guys how you want to do it And if you need more examples of things just let me know and I'll make more videos to showcase certain things Anyways, I hope you liked it. Have a great day. Bye